Welcome back. All right, so uh, preseason hockey to discuss, the Maple Leafs and the Ottawa Senators. So, of course, I'm going to watch the game. Why not? So, it's Petrozelli versus Forsberg in this one. So, one thing I like with the preseason is getting a chance to look at players we might not see the rest of the year. Petrozelli might not see the net for Toronto, or maybe he does. And so, it's a good chance to see what kind of depth you've got in net, depth at various parts in various parts of the organization as well. So, 13 seconds in, the Senators go to the power play. So, right away, Toronto's in the box. And it's Domi that goes to the box. So this is this is something that I remember with Dallas we saw, and we'll see if we see it a lot with, with Toronto as well. Uh, Sens had trouble setting up. Minton clears it out. I thought Minton had a good game. Uh, Leafs killed that off without any trouble and didn't allow a shot. And uh, the Sens would wake up later. McEwen then goes to the box shortly after. It's back to 5-on-5, five five, so the Leafs go to the power play. Zach McEwen's known for taking a penalty or two along the way as well, right? Uh, Sens cleared out early. The Leafs set up late. Lajoie had a shot that's turned aside. The rebound's cleared. Uh, it's killed off as Hervinen uh, tries to stuff one in. And Hervinen, I thought, had a good game as well. Um, Leafs, first four shots of the game. That would change. The shots are 4-2 to two for the Leafs, five, five and a half minutes in. Forsberg, um, he was sharp, I thought, in his first game since February 11th. I thought he looked good today. Uh, he played the full 60 minutes. Uh, the plan is to give him the full 60 minutes today, which they did, and then I think it's Sogard in the next one, and then the full 60 minutes for Corpus Allo in their third game of the preseason. So getting a good look at three of their goaltenders there. So uh, Riley has a blast that's held after a press by the Leafs. Uh, Mantapalo has a shot that's held by Petr Petrozelli, so that's easy for me to say. Giroud Stutzla near miss there. The Sens press at eight minutes. Clifford has a shot this block. The Sens cleared out. Sens get a second power play. Uh, much better setup for that one. Kachuk's denied in close, and then he buries a rebound. So Kachuk gets the goal from Bailey and Giroud at 9.59. So there's another storyline for you. Josh Bailey on a tryout, trying to earn himself a role with the team and, and a contract, and he gets a point on their first goal of the game. Sens had 12 of the last 14 shots at the time that one goes in. Leafs press for response, but the Sens get their third power play. They set up, they cycle. Kachuk nearly adds another. It's killed off, though, without a shot. Uh, Nylander has a net drive. That's defended. Kachuk had a one-timer that defends out. Sanderson nearly adds one, and Petrozelli really busy. But then Stutzla would score from uh, Sanderson and Smeagol at uh, 18.01, or Smeagol. Um, I, I just want to say Smeagol. I'm just going to be honest, and, and if at any point in time... He's playing regularly, and I accidentally refer to him by the, the proper name of Gollum from Lord of the Rings. I'm going to apologize. But yeah, that's at 18.01, and it was a result of a good press. All Senators after a slow start. 22 of the last 24 shots. I think they had 23 in that first period. So the Leafs look to answer. Good back and forth late. And we go to the second period with Ottawa up 2 to nothing. Uh, Lilligren crashed into the end boards on a trip. Uh, he crashed feet first. You don't want to see that. Guy can hurt his ankles. Uh, but yeah, Leafs get the power play, and Lilligren stays on on the first unit. I'm going to talk about another Leaf that I thought had a decent game. Lilligren, not too bad. Um, Domi has a net feed that gets picked off. The power play was killed off with just the one shot. Minton, strong forechecking by him, which leads to a short press for Toronto. Uh, Sokolov had a sharp angle chance. That's kicked aside. Hervinen, net feed, hit that gets blocked. Gambrell then has a shot that was blocked as well, and the Sens clear it out. Uh, Ellis to Logan Shaw, near miss. Logan Shaw, former member of the Ottawa Senators, I do believe, and of course played really well for the Marlies last season, so he's trying to earn himself at least an extended look. Uh, Sens get pinned down, and they were kind of sloppy at this point in the game. Forsberg holds to get a break. Uh, Nylander is then denied on a face-off win. His next net feed was cleared out. The shots were 10-2. For Toronto, nine minutes into the period. Um, and then more pressure leads to a goal. And it's Ligason. Yeah, William Ligason from Timmins and Nyes at 932. So there's Matthew Nyes on the board with a secondary assist. And Ligason wires that one past the screen to get that in the net. The Leafs then draw a power play. So you can feel this momentum has really swung in their favor. They set up early. They cycle. Domi has a shot. That's blocked. More cycling by Toronto's power play. Then there's a shorthanded rush by Stutzla. That's defended. Hervinen with a near miss as the penalty comes to an end. The Leafs 0 for 3, but they had some momentum. So the Sens have a 3 on 1. That gets broken up. More strong forechecking by the Leafs would follow that. Nylander nearly ties it. Zub blocks, and then the Leafs go back to the power play. 
Uh, early clear by the Sens, but the Leafs would get the puck, and they would draw a 5-on-3 for 53 seconds. Uh, and the Sens just unfocused and undisciplined at this point in the game. Sens winning board battles cleared out. Giroux clears it after that. Sanderson's then denied on a 3-on-5. So during that 3-on-5 power play, Sanderson with a nice play there. Uh, Lajoie has a shot that's held as it's now 5-on-4. But Steves, just as the power play comes to an end. So the scoring got changed later that it is a power play goal by Steves. Hervinen and Timmons was given a secondary assist. Uh, 17 minutes and 50 seconds on that one. And then with 140 left, well now it's the Sens' turn for a power play. And they score on it. It is Stutzla from Sanderson and Kachuk. That's at 18.45. So it took 25 seconds for that power play to strike. Uh, it's post and in on a cycle. It's that nice ping and then a goal, right? So Stutzler with his second goal of the game. Uh, he had one late in the first, has one late in the second. Sens look for another. The momentum shifted, and they're up 3-2 to two after two periods. Third period. Uh, this one was played as if they're renting the ice by the hour, and somebody told them, you got to get out of here. Uh, Hildeby was in for the Leafs, so you get a chance to see Hildeby after Patrizelli. Uh, Petrozelli faced a ton of shots, so I know he allowed three goals, but he still had a good game. I think he saved 25 out of 28, something like that. Uh, good back and forth, post for Sokolov. Uh, rebound is then cleared. Ligason has a shot that's blocked. Sanderson playing a ton. I think it was 18 and a half minutes through the first two periods. And honestly, looked really good. So anybody who's talked about his contract this year, I hope you have a chance to see Ottawa games. I, I think Sanderson's in for a big year this year. What impressed me with Sanderson was the offensive instincts he was showing today. Yes, it's preseason. No, the game doesn't matter. I still think it's important to see how a player is trending or how they're doing. Uh, so the Sens, they would get some pressure. Uh, the Leafs block and clear it out. Highmore has a shot that's kicked aside as the Sens press. People know I like Matthew Highmore. I hope he makes the team. So this has a rush chance that set up, sets up a press, but that's kept to the outside. Hervin and then has a shot for Toronto that's held. Uh, the Leafs pressed at six and a half minutes. Ellis then had a chance that was saved. Uh, strong forechecking then by Parker Kelly. And then Minton does the same at the other end for Toronto. So for Minton, uh, looking to win himself a bottom six role in the Toronto organization, or at the very least be one of the first call-ups, uh, I think Minton showed he has the forechecking and the ability there defensively. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we'll see if he actually ends up getting to play for them. Uh, Stutzla's then denied on a great pass from Giroux, and uh, at the half we get into where it looks like preseason hockey. A lot of scrambly play, not a lot of uh, structure and probably driving coaches crazy, but it's preseason, you're going to have that. Uh, so the shots are 7-2 to two for Toronto with 8.5 minutes left, and really, past that first period where Ottawa you know, gets the 22 out of 24 shots, Toronto controlled most of this game. So really, while you may not like the results at the end, if you're a Toronto fan, there's a lot to like coming out of this game, especially considering how many veterans did not play today. So, um, Nylander has a rush chance that saved, rebound, cleared. Period's going fast. So, it, you know, there was a lot of play without whistles, so you have that going on. That's why I said they were playing like they were renting the ice. Goalie pull takes place with two minutes and ten seconds left. The Leafs set up. They press with a minute and a half left and cycle. Uh, and then there's too many sends on the ice. It's six on four. Josh Bailey threw them off. I think they figured he was going to shoot it at the empty net, and instead he didn't. And so an extra guy jumps on the ice. Happens. Again, too many men on the ice is a very common penalty to see in preseason as well as early in the regular season. Riley then has a shot that's held. The Sens uh, win the next faceoff and clear it out. Remembering, you do not have to worry about icing when it's six on four. Uh, so Nylander's denied. Forsberg holds. And the Sens hold on. They win this one three to two. And the first star of the game was Jake Sanderson, who, again, uh, I don't think there's much argument with him being first star. He also had two assists in this game. I, I think he's he's going to be pretty good. So, uh, at any rate, let me know your thoughts if you watch the game in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you browse your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.